Hi folks, welcome to Ferrum Wrestling 411. I'm your host Gary Holden. With me as usual is head wrestling coach Nate Yitzer. Hey, hey Gary, how welcome you doing? Back. Thank you. All right, so a lot of action the last couple weeks. Yeah, uh, yep. Let's go back. Busy. We need to go back a couple weeks since right. we haven't done a show for a couple weeks and talk right. a little bit about a big win you guys had. You beat the number three team in the nation, Stevens mm. Tech. Um, going into that meet, did you feel as though you matched up well with them? Uh, yeah, actually, okay, not great, to be honest with you. Just uh, we, there were some of the guys being out injured, and then they had a few guys too, but um, just kind of the, the matchups, I didn't, I didn't feel great about it, but um, you know, our guys responded, and, and I was really happy the way they, their effort was great. And, and uh, even though, you know, the first three matches really went against everything that we were trying to do, you mm -hmm. know, gave it a major, a major a fall, and then gave up another major. Right. Um, it's not the way I saw those painting out, so. When you have two ranked teams, they were ranked number three, we were <coughs> ranked number 11. When you get two ranked teams, you, clearly you gotta try to stay away from giving up the bonus points, and you gotta right. try to squeeze out a couple um, right, bonus absolutely. points yep. and everything. Yep. And you, you lived up to half of that, at least. You got a couple uh, majors. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Majors on a tech fall. Right. Um, let, let's talk a little bit about that. Starting off the match, 125, we gave up a major decision come back with their um, Steven Stanich uh, from yeah. Stevens. Stevens was ranked number one in the country. He got a fall, and then they came back and they posted another major decision. How big of a hole does that put you in at 14-0? Is that, does it make you feel as though it's kind of <coughs> yeah. tough to come out of? Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously that, that wasn't the game plan. The game plan was, you know, and obviously Brett Binnix, you know, um, that the kid's a little bit better as a senior, you know, and, and uh, but Brett just, he was in on a couple of shots, and just, you can't give up the major there, and he mm -hmm. did the last few seconds. Um, and same thing with Austin. Austin. You know, if you take away all the points that Austin pretty much gave him, you know, just making uh, not good decisions, the score is 5-5. Five, five. Mm -hmm. It's a different ball game, you know what I mean? And, and uh, instead he gets majored. And then, you know, uh, Bailey Cooper's in the match, went out, went out and struck first, and, uh, but he, um, you know, just got a little sloppy on bottom, got cradled up and pinned. So mm -hmm. obviously we were in a huge hole, but, um, you know, and, and even Colin at 49, I expected him to get the major there, and he, and he didn't. Um, so, you know, the first four matches, didn't go real well, to be honest with you, the first five matches, and but the guys, the back end of the lineup really stepped up in a big way, so that's what good teams do. Well, you're down 14 nothing. you win one with Saunders, now it's 14-3. to mm -hmm. You come back the next match, and you lose this one by another major decision, so right. basically four out of the first five matches, you gave up bonus points and everything, exactly, yeah. and you're all <clears> of a sudden down 18-3. to you know, going into those last five weight classes and everything, you guys pretty much ran the table. Right, yep. Um, you know, you get up all the way through 197 pounds, and Hunter Goulart gives you a major decision, scored right. an extra point at the, right at the end, a takedown to get a major decision, and that sets it up for your heavyweight. Going into heavyweight, you're 18 18, it's right. winner take all. And yep, everything. absolutely, so. absolutely. Not, it felt real good about, you know, Leva, that he's a senior, you know, um, in a situation like that, you, you got to. Uh, he had to come through and be a senior wrestling freshman too. So, I mean, he came through in a big way, did a great job. And I think rode the kid three or four minutes and, and, and did a really good job. Closed it out for us. Got to talk a little bit about Andrew Tolbert. That was a big win there. Right, yep. the number five ranked kid in the country. He comes up with a 9-5 win. Right. And really was was, was better than a 9-5 win because he totally dominated that. Yeah, it was, I, don't think, I don't think the kid was really close to scoring on us at all. And, and uh, you know, he just wrestled really well. You know, Andrew's really uh, on an upward trend right now. He's doing a great job. And, you know, even this weekend looked, you know, probably, you know, from, you know, from, uh, from all three positions, he, I, right, right now he's wrestling better than anybody else on our team, to be honest sure, with you. Sure, so. sure. Well, you had another big win at 174. Blake Rosenbaum comes up with a tech fall. It was right. basically a takedown fest. I think yep. I want to say he scored maybe 12 takedowns yeah, or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he came through, you know, a, a, a captain, you know, need, knowing that we needed bonus points. And I think that guy's job was just don't get pinned, you know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and uh, those guys are sometimes hard to... Uh, um, you know, guys that are just trying not to get pinned, you know, sure. it's, it's hard to wrestle sometimes. And sure. Blake did a good job of scoring points when, when he was supposed to and did mm -hmm. a great job. So. Well, that's great. He did, he did an outstanding job. Zach Schaefer, 184 pounds, tough match, and yep. ended up going all the way through into three overtimes. Yeah. He did the ride out and everything. And as a freshman, you got to feel good about a kid that comes in as a freshman as one of his what, third, fourth, fifth college wrestling matches right. and wins a big one like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, stepped up in a big way. and. Um, he's got some. He's definitely uh, very mature for his age, as far as going out and not letting the pressure get to him, and you know, and, and really, really was dominating a little bit and let the kid back in the match. Kind of gave up a stupid takedown on the edge, and at the end of the period, and, and uh, kind of gave the kid hope a little bit, and, sure. and then it came down to the end, and, and uh, Zach still trying to get used to that one-hour weigh-in, I think. Um, 
just a lot, not a lot of time to recover. Sure. And a guy that big, I think, you know, um, he's got to manage his weight the right way. So sure. did a good job, though, stepped up. Yep. It's a big difference that I noticed with, with from high school to college wrestling is when you get to college wrestling, you got to learn to wrestle on the edge of the mat. you got to learn to wrestle right as the period is ending. And don't yeah. get soft. Don't let something yeah. up. And all of a sudden, you give up two points. Or yep. you lose an opportunity to score two points that you really should have had. You know, exactly, you gotta, yeah. you got a leg up or something, and then you step out of bounds as opposed to trying to attack it and try to make it work and score. Yeah, just pressing through positions, too. Like, and that's one thing we got to get better as a team is we just give up too many easy takedowns, you know, at the edge, at the edge of the mat and um, not finishing matches off, you know, that's kind of a, a big thing. And, um, you know, but we, we, I think as a, one thing about us, historically, we get better as the year goes along. Sure. So um, I'm hoping that's, you know, we continue to do that. So. Yep. Yeah, well, last year is an indication, then I think we're going in the right direction. Right. Let's talk a little bit about the next day, Nate. Yep. You, uh, you guys hosted the Star City Open up in Roanoke, uh, or Star City uh, Tournament, yep. uh, hosted by the Marine Corps. Right, yep. And they were excellent to work with. Awesome. Those people were they were really awesome. Good. Really appreciate that. those guys helping us out, and they put on a great show, and, and uh, we really appreciate it. Yep. Well, the tournament, um, you didn't enter all you guys. You had a couple guys that were banged up from you know twenty less than 24 hours right. early. You just wrestled the dual meet with us. Uh, sat about eight of our starters, about yep. seven or eight of our starters. So we mm -hmm. sat those guys. And uh, you know, just give them a break, and, and uh, some guys are still working through the weight issues. You know what mm -hmm. I mean, make sure they're, uh, you know, c can get the weight off for a two-day two-day weigh-in. Sure. And, um, you know, we, we, are, we are banged up a little bit, but um, you know, I, I just overall, I don't think we competed very well. Um, I think we underperformed. Um, you know, I know how good we are, and I know the guys that we have, and how hard we train, and uh, it just didn't show up that day. You sure. know, and um, you know, to be honest, it was a little disappointing the effort, and uh, just. Some of the quit we had in matches wasn't good, you know. So I, th I, you know, I do think we've addressed that, and and uh, you know, I think guys maybe are thinking about Thanksgiving, you know what I mean, and, and going home, and uh, you know, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yep. So, but I do think uh, I do think most of them bounced back next week and had a better week. Training. Well, I think Rosenbaum showed up to wrestle. Yes, absolutely. He came yep. out there and he was just wrestled in punishing style. Got a couple pins. Um, had a tough match in the finals, yeah. but other than that, wrestled dominating a pin, a pin, and a, and a technical foul right. and everything. Really yep. wrestled well. And um, Schaefer didn't make weight the next day at 184, but he wrestled up at 197. Yep, bumped him up. And he, and he gets to the finals before he loses there. So yep. it's got to be a pretty good um, sign for you right there when a kid doesn't make weight. That's, that's not a good sign. First yeah. of all, not giving anybody a free pass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, but when a kid does go up a weight class and can still do fairly well. Yeah, he just competes really hard, you know what I mean? And that, and that works for every weight class, you know? And um, that's the one thing that stands out about Zach right now. I don't think he's the best wrestler in the world right now. And, but I do think uh, he competes really, really hard, sure. as hard as anybody in our room. So I think um, once, he, once he fixes a couple of his mistakes, he's gonna be, he'll be pretty good, so. Well, let's, let's move on to um, the, <clears throat> this past weekend. You guys were up at York, Pennsylvania, the um, new Standard Invitational. Uh, rugged tournament. I saw, I saw all the kids that were out there, a lot of ranked kids. Mm -hmm. You had nine ranked teams, eight other schools beyond Ferrum. It's got to be one of the tougher tournaments on the East Coast. It is. It's, uh, I mean, it's probably the toughest one-day tournament in, in, the, uh, in the country for Division III, you know, especially this early in the year. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, the amount of great teams that are there, not just great teams, but great individuals. So even some of the teams that are maybe not great uh, teams-wise, they're sending great individuals there. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, I was... You know, I, th I do think we underperformed a little bit, you know, some guys, um, but, you know, you know, really three guys really stood out to me as the guys who came back and finished third. That says a lot about who you are, you know, sure. losing. And I think all three lost in the semis. And to come all the way back through and win those next two is, is a pretty big deal. Well, Alvino Matthews he actually uh, lost, lost earlier yeah. than that. He lost a little bit earlier. I think yeah. around a 16 had yeah. to come back through the all back through, yep. and Anybody that knows the sport of wrestling, you know how difficult it is to, you know, you're hanging your head a little bit, you've had a loss, and now you realize you got to come all the way through the back bracket and wrestle. Right. And it's a tough call right Absolutely, there to yep. do that. Yep. So It um, didn't, you know, it obviously didn't bother him that much. And uh, this is his first competition. People don't I mean, he's been training for two weeks or three weeks. Sure. You know, football just start, just ended great football player and um, so he hasn't even been there training that long and the one thing about Alvino and Schaefer too is uh, they did a great job throughout the day making adjustments sure. you know, something didn't work um, you know and especially Alvino too because you know obviously you know his he's gonna he's not in great shape yet you know in unbelievable shape and for him to make shape, yeah. exactly for him to make the adjustments he's made he's gonna be 
I think by the year a real force to reckon with. And this is the kid who is a true two-sport athlete. He's right. First yep. team all conference in football. Right. One of the meanest defensive linemen in, in the conference. Right. And, um, and and it's amazing to see him switch gears and all of a sudden here he is finding some success. No surprise to me because I saw him wrestle throughout high school. He wrestled for Franklin County High School. My son wrestled with him um, on the same team and everything. And I saw right. him you know get to the six six A state tournament finals and lose and I think it was a ride out four overtime. Right. Times. So right. Yeah. He's a tough nut kid right there. Absolutely. And, a Andrew Tolbert, another great weekend for him. Absolutely. Absolutely. Loses yep. in the semifinals, gives up a gives up a pin, just got caught. Yeah, he's winning the match. Um, I think it was second or third period he's winning the match, and uh, you know, I don't think the kid had any points on him, and, and uh, you know was being aggressive like we teach, and, and shot in, and just got kind of ran over a little bit. You know, yep. shot in. Yep. I think he was a little, he was a little high, and mm -hmm. the dude uh, you know kind of ran him over and, and headlocked him and, and got the fall. But you know, the Tolbert of old, I think, would have uh, really let that that loss affect him the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, but, the, but he bounced back, you know, and, and there was a short turnaround. I think he only had a half hour. Right. Um, and, and short turnaround, he came back and then he, you know, dominated the next match and then goes in for third and fourth and, and really, I think he was down early and he came, he came back and really opened it up in the second, third period. And, sure. and uh, you know, just, you know, he, I thought personally, I think he's the best guy in that weight class, um, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that weight class is wide open. I'm talking in the whole country. So I think he's right there. And, um, I think he's starting to believe it, you know. And well, he'll get a chance to prove himself a little bit. No, yep. I know. I know we get out of the Gator Boots duels. Mm -hmm. We go to the national duels. He's going to see some ranked kids. Absolutely, it'll be, it'll be absolutely. A great opportunity for him. And he's already wrestled a couple ranked kids this year too. Exactly, so this exactly. This is a good thing for him. Um, your other third place performance was um, you had at uh, 165 oh, Schaefer. Yeah, um, actually, yeah. Knocking yeah. off a couple of ranked kids. You right. got to be pretty happy with that absolutely. kid. Freshman, he knocks off the number 10 ranked kid in the country. Then he comes, wrestles back for third after a disappointing loss in yep. the semifinals. Knocks off the number nine kid. Rocks yep. off the number nine. So yep. you got to feel good about that weight class. Yeah, he's wrestling really well. I mean, he's, he's uh, and again, he's again, he's just kind of scratching the surface how good he can be. You know, and, and weight's always, he's a big kid, so weight's going to be an issue, but I think he's doing a better job of managing it. Sure. And I think um, once he figures that part out and stays consistent with it, he's going to uh, he's only going to get better as the years goes goes on. Nate, I saw him get into a couple of set, uh, rough positions this weekend where he took a shot. He was stretched out, really didn't have much leverage or anything. Yet he just pulled legs in, lift guys up, yep. dump them. He looks like he's just animal strong. Yep, absolutely. He is. He, is. he wrestles hard too. He competes the whole time. I think that a lot of the guys can learn, learn a lesson from him sure. of what happens when you compete the whole time. And we got guys. You know, I bet you half our team. Maybe more of that, more skilled than he has right now because he's a young guy. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, there ain't too many guys on the team that, that wrestle as hard as he does sure. for seven minutes. Sure. So that's, that's, that's the key. I want to mention as well Colin Saunders. Yep. Um, he's one of our ranked wrestlers. He came back and placed uh, fourth, had a disappointing semifinal loss, almost yeah. won, got a nice single leg takedown, was bringing a kid down to the mat, probably would have been the winning takedown of the match. And just kind of kid ducked down a little bit. Colin slid over the top, gave up the takedown. That was the difference in the match. Yeah, it didn't, didn't bounce back real well either. You know, kind of like the next match, he was up. I don't know, he was up like 12 points in the in the you know, late on bottom. The kid bundled him up, and you know, it was really lucky he didn't get pinned. You know, and, and then he got caught again later on, and you know, didn't finish real strong. And, and Colin, it's gonna be for Colin, it's gonna be weight issues. He's gonna have to figure out that figure that out and keep his weight better under, under control. He's a big kid. He's lean. It's gonna be hard. Sure, you know, sure. but. Um, if he wants to have success in the year, um, and I'm critical of Colin just because I know how good he can be and how sure. good he is. He's one of your you national know. qualifiers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, when he's on, he's with the best, one of the best kids in the country, regardless of weight class. And I've had other coaches tell me that. Yep. You know, but he, he has lapses in his um, his intensity, and, and it happens in the room. And um, he needs to put it together, and he needs to get in better shape and manage his weight better. If he does that. Um, Really, there's nobody in the country that should be able to, to be able uh, to handle him. Be, sure. To be honest with you, so well, he's got some time. You know, clearly, yep. you've always said you want to you want to be peaking at the right time. Right, absolutely. And right now isn't the time to be peaking. So if you're going to have these letdowns, let's do it now. Get it out of your system. Move on. And as we get towards the you know the Virginia duels, the national duels, the Pete Wilson Invitational, right, the regionals, right. yep. you know, conference tournament. That's when you want these guys to absolutely. Be I mean, that's, you know, again, that's you know, historically, we do. I think we do. Our, our, the staff does a great job of getting the guys ready, um, you know, peaking at the right time, you know, and I think, uh, um, obviously, I consider this kind of the midterm exam, mm -hmm. and, you know, I'd give us a C right now where we at, where, we're at, where we are, and obviously I'm a critical maybe, but um, I think we're a pretty good team right now. I don't think we're a great team yet, and I think uh, we're just not hitting on all cylinders yet and with injuries and all that, but um, I do think um, you know, these guys are hungry for the most part, and, and I think um, 
that'll go a long way. So. Sure, sure. Well, let's talk a little bit about the upcoming Gator Boots duels. Down in Nashville in two weeks, you guys are taking finals this coming week, and then they'll come back next week, start training again, and get ready for that Gator Boots duels. Tell us a little bit about that tournament. What type of teams will we see down there? Uh, it's, it's, it's same kind of format of years in the past. Where you're, there's a bunch of dual meets. It starts early in the morning, and obviously you can kind of pick out who you want to dual meet. Mm -hmm. um, to a certain extent, and you kind of list your top five teams you want to wrestle, and they pair you up with three of them. And, okay. uh, in years past, you're allowed to bring JV teams as well, too, or, or second teams, and they wrestle other second teams. Okay. And we're going to do that again this year. And um, so we'll, bring, we'll probably take 20, 22 guys to, uh, to Nashville. And, Get some guys some um, bad time. Yep, absolutely. And, and, every, and we have three duels, the, bar, the, the starters and the, uh, the um, second teams will get to at least two matches. Mm -hmm. So um, this year, you know, it, it hasn't come out who we're going to wrestle yet. Um, it probably will come out this week sometime. And, um, you know, I, I, I kind of put some new teams in there. I want to wrestle some new teams that we haven't in the past. And teams that we don't see throughout the year, that was a big thing. I want to okay. see some new teams, and, and hopefully we get those. Somebody so. you might not see because they're not in this area. Right. They're coming from the Midwest or Absolutely, something. Absolutely, yeah. So. I mean, there's a bunch of Iowa schools there, and um, there's uh, some Illinois teams there. And, and uh, But, again, I, you know, I, I tried to stay away from teams we're going to see at the Pete Wilson sure. and throughout, and, uh, you know, the standard, new standard invitational. And, um, so it's going to be, uh, it'd be, it'd be a, it'd be a fun event. You know, the dual meets are fun. I think, you know, right now we're probably a better dual meet team than our tournament team, but uh, you know, we'll see how it shakes out. Okay, great. Well, listen, we'll, um, we'll come back then um, a couple days after that uh, Gator Boots duels. We'll wrap up. We'll do our Christmas show and everything. Yep. We'll see if we can get some Christmas lights in here, maybe, some, maybe some Santa <laughs> Claus hats, yep. and we'll, uh, we'll bring the next show up. So, well, Nate, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks, Gary. I appreciate it. Folks. Appreciate you being here with us. This has been Fair and Wrestling 411. I'm your host, Gary Holden, for Nate Yetzer. Thanks again, and we'll see you in two weeks.